Oh no! Well, we got good news and we've got bad news. The bad news is she's still blocked, but the good news is she's still blocked. Let's continue on, guys. I bloody love this stuff. Now, this time, guys, we're gonna send this as far as far can be. We'll send it right up the store drain, right to the head of the line, just to make sure that we've got absolutely everything out. It's gonna be a bit of fun, guys. I can feel it already. All right, I've turned the pressure up, guys, and we are away to the races once again. We're sending her right up the head of the line, and already I feel like I've hit just a massive lump of grease or, or some sort of massive blockage. This is going to be an absolute ripper. Do you know what? I've said it a few times, but I am bloody excited. This is going to be bloody good. Wow, as I say, it's like fishing, guys, and I feel like I'm onto an absolute monster. This is like going out fishing and catching a bloody whale, mate. Not that I go out fishing to catch whales. It's, uh, and I don't advise you going out fishing, catching whales either. And look at that, guys. We are into the blockage right now. This is a monster. <laughs> and I reckon there's a little more to come. Come on, you good thing. Come on. I've just been going easy, does it, to start with. But, guys, let's put the foot to the floor. Literally. Boom. Here we go. More pressure. More fun. We are away. And now the waiting game. I really hope I haven't built this up to be a bit of a fizzer. But, oh, and there we go. No, I have not built it up. It's built itself up. And now we are getting the rewards we deserve, guys. Woohoo! Wow, now that is the blockage that we were after, and go boom, boom, boom. She is really clearing up now, guys. Look at that greasy foam. It's absolutely magic. All right, we are back. I've just let go of some full sinks inside, and look at that. That is what you call a bloody work of art, mate. Now, yeah, just sit back and put your feet up and just appreciate a bloody free-flowing drain. It's just magic, mate. Grease trap is working an absolute treat. Working as she should, separating all the oils and all the food scraps before she goes out to the main sewer. Bloody absolute pleasure. It's been a bloody pleasure. The bloody swimming pool. And as you can see, I'm literally swimming in it. Boom. Got the, uh, the old welly boots out. Now we mean business. Let's try and find this drain. Oh, wowee. Guys, this absolutely stinks. All right, it's time for me new toy, all the way from beautiful England. And when I'm plunging with a plunger that's all the way from England, it'd only be fitting to speak like the Queen. Hello, mate, it's Bruce here from Drain Clean in Australia. I don't know if this is a very good accent. It sounds like a terrible version of an accent, doesn't it? Anyway, mate, I'm gonna try and find a drain. Oh, look, guys, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna bloody stop it. I'm absolutely butchering it. But hang on a second. Here's a segue. I think I, look at this. Look at this, we found something. Oh, uh, uh, what do you know? The usual story, it's bloody full of rubbish, mate. It's full of rubbish, Unbel oh. Has it cleared it? Oh, it's probably chock-a-block anyway. This is bloody unbelievable. Guys, you know my pet hate is rubbish. Now, my new plunger is not gonna fit down that hole, but luckily, 
I got me old plunger, the one that everyone hates. I'll bring it out now. All right, the plunger everyone was saying to just chuck in the bin. Well, maybe it's going to come in handy right about now. Maybe it's going to fit down, and I'll tell you what, this plunger doesn't come with an accent. We'll just get the job bloody done, mate. Let's give her a good old plunge. Get in there, mate. Oh, look at that. Already a little bit of a result. Whoa! And a bit of pressure. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Only thing is, this concrete seems to be graded in two different directions. So, I've got a feeling over here, we're going to have another drain. Let's have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of an inspection. Well, I mean, surely there's got to be another drain down here, doesn't there? Come on, mate. They could be in the bloody curb like the last one. There's something, there's something amongst this spot here. There we are, there's something down here, guys. I think we've bloody found it. And I'm actually a little bit surprised we found it so quick. Get the bloody plunger down here. Look, everyone told me, get rid of that plunger and get a new one. And look what happens, old faithful comes to the party, saves the day. I mean, look at that. That is just a brilliant piece of artwork right there. I mean, there's no way that I was going to go and retire one of my tools. It's just got its spot in the van now for life. Me half plunger. I tell you what, I should really patent the idea. The old half plunger. Get in there, mate, and you sort the rest of it out. There we are. Show the world what you're about. You've absolutely nailed it, mate. Now, guys, I'm just going to bloody shut up because I've just spent the last bloody four and a half minutes absolutely rambling. We'll sit back and you can just enjoy a free-flowing drain. It's bloody magnificent. I mean, it's days like this when I bloody pinch myself, you know. I'm, here I am, sitting back, enjoying this free-flowing drain, recording it for the Drain Cleaning Australia family to join me on this ride. And I'm just, as I say, I'm bloody pinching myself, mate. There is no place on earth I'd rather be than clearing a blocked bloody drain with the Drain Cleaning Australia family. I mean, if you can think of a better idea, a better place in the world you'd rather be right now, in the comments right away, let me know, because I'm bloody stumped. I'm absolutely stumped. I've got no idea what could be better. But anyway, it's just me. I'll tell you what, my hands are a little bit grubby now, and that is exactly why I took my undies off first. Give these a bit of a clean up on me undies, get the squirty bottle out, just a little bit of soap in the crotch there, and I'll just wipe my hand down. And look at that, mate, I mean, it's just magic. I've got clean hands. So, let's take this hose out the drain. I reckon we might, I don't know, what do you reckon, guys? Should we feed it up the inlet of the grease trap? See what's going on. I think it's a bloody good idea. I should have thought of it myself. Reach over here. In you get, mate. This sun, bloody sun in there, mate. Maybe there's a. What is this? You see that? I don't know if some sort of bloody plastic object or some. All right, we are inside the inlet of the grease trap and we are ready to go. <laughs> Look at that! Whoa! 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 What on earth has happened here? What on earth? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if the bloody camera got that. Oh, that just came with it. Look at this. Look at this. What on earth has happened here? What? There is a bloody plastic bottle in here. and what? I've never seen anything quite like that, guys. I bloody hope I got that on camera. There's a little inspection point here. The plastic bottle in the... Uh, in the drain, and my jet has gone through the bottle, banged out the bloody inspection point, out the bloody metal box, and back into the... Oh, guys, oh, 
I know I'm bloody mumbling here and I can't get any words out, but I don't know what on earth just happened then. Alright, here we go. I'm bloody excited about this one, guys. There's something about kitchen sinks that I bloody love. They're actually my favourite. I don't know if I've told you guys that on the channel before, but they just, I don't know, there's something about them. I bloody love it. So let's get stuck in, guys. Whoa, straight away. As predicted, guys, it's, whoa, you can see the chunks of grease coming out of this line already. Well, I've just had a sticky beak inside just to make sure it's not flying up through the sink, but we're all sweet. There is absolutely monstrous icebergs of grease just bloody coming up. Whoa, coming up. Through. Look at that. That's unbelievable, guys. Wowee. Bloody love it. Where would you rather be, guys? Alright, I've just had another check inside and yeah, like everything's sweet. I've just got to be cautious. So here we go again anyway, guys. Let's get stuck into it. Oh, Sink. This is this is what dreams are made of. This is why I get up in the morning. Oop. Have we cleared it? Well, I just had another check inside, guys. The sink's still full. So here we go again. I bloody appreciate if you can smash the like button. It just gives me a good idea on what you guys like and what you don't like. So, no, I really appreciate each and every single one of you. And while I'm blabbing, whoa, here we go. I thought, I thought we'd cleared it for a split second then, guys, but we'll continue on. Guys, I've just dug this hole a little bit deeper because, uh, yeah, look, this is going to start overflowing everywhere. So let's give her another whirl.
another check and the kitchen seems still blocked. some explosive bloody drain cleaning if I haven't seen it before guys and it's what I bloody love anyway let's send this jet through the outlet and just make sure that she's all a-okay from this end as well before we continue on with the shop drain come on mate this bloody Gonna have to replace this handle on the mini reel. She's bloody, she's stiff as, mate. color of the water coming out of this inlet guys and uh, wow and guys I've said it before and I will say it many times again I'm living the dream I bloody appreciate you guys coming on this ride with me the YouTube ride I mean what a community we're building the drain cleaning Australia family it is absolutely fantastic guys and I'm I'm absolutely loving hearing from each and every single one of you in the comments, so make sure you're saying g'day to me, you know? I bloody love to hear from you. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling again, but you can see that this grease trap is working an absolute treat. Absolutely nailed this one. Let's have a look. I've pulled all the plugs in the shop. 
Oh, look at that free-flowing drain. That is what dreams are made of. I mean, that is the great Australian dream. And, mate, that grease trap is running a treat. The shop owner, he couldn't be happier. And as I said, it's a team effort, guys. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Exactly the type of mess that we're in when we're on that first date when we're 18. I mean, listen to that, guys. The bloody levels are dropping. The sound is absolutely pristine. I mean, that's what you want to hear. She's free-flowing, absolutely perfect. This is wild. I've just uh, figured out what's going on, guys. Now, this gully's been chock-a-block for quite some time, the owner says. So, 
Uh, what's going on is it's actually backflowing up the laundry line, which is just over there. It literally runs under the sand all the way up to there. And then we got our kitchen sink here. And in the ground, there's the kitchen line. So we've been going up the laundry line, which is actually full of kitchen grease as well. Oh, here we go. This is going to be good. Boom, there we go. So now, you can actually jet the kitchen line out now. Mate, that, as I say, she was so chock-a-block that um, everything in that gully was backflowing up the laundry line. I mean, we got heaps of grease out of that laundry line. I'm surprised it was clear. Let's fire the jet up for round two, if you don't mind. This is going to be messy. All right, so we'll rip her out of this uh, this laundry line. We'll send her downstream of this kitchen line. Hopefully it'll fit. Should have me little whippos on for this, but that's all right. We'll see how far we can get with her, guys. This, as I said, this is going to be bloody messy. Oh, I bloody love this stuff, though. And Daniel, thank you for this job, mate. You're a legend. And we are off to the races again, and whoa, ho, ho, look at that. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we came, this was what the two hour drive was all about. I don't know, I think sometimes I just love this job a little bit more than I should. But anyway, let's fire up for a round three. Hey, hey, hey. Mate, that is thick grease right there. All right, let's go again. Go easy does it to start with. Yeah, you see, it's, it seems like we are just hitting a dead end, but we're not. Right now, we're just up against an absolute ton of grease. It just turns rock solid, guys. So as the jet gets through it, it literally just mixes it up into a foamy paste. And I mean, guys, I mean, doesn't that look like a bloody beautiful vanilla milkshake? She is putting up a little bit of a fight here. But we love that. That's fine with me. Come on now, I'm not giving up. So it's going to have to be you that's going to give up, Mr. Kitchen Sink. And we are back for another one, and whoa, whoa, look at this, guys. No, it is not porridge. Not at all, it's a filthy channel drain. We've been here before as well, guys. You're right, you bloody legends. Let's fire this jet up, and we are away.
bloody rags down the drain, guys. <laughs> there we are. Wow. Let's take this inspection opening off as well and have a little bit of a sticky beak and see what's going on under here. Alright, as you can see she's clear. I mean, having this inspection opening will be a little bit handy anyway just to drain off the excess water. Someone pulled their undies off, their greasy undies. Promise it's not me, guys. Not this time, anyway. Let's take this other grate off. And what do we... Look at this guy. This is what dreams are bloody made of, mate. You know, you could be doing anything right now, but you're not, are you? You're here with me, watching Drain Cleaning Australia on YouTube. I mean, where else would you rather be? I could not tell you. I'm stumped. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble, we're going to continue on, and we're going to get this looking absolutely spotless. Alright you bloody legends, let's give it a bit of a squirt to start off with, eh? Yes, yes, I know, it's time we brought the trowel out, guys, and here we are. Going to give her a good old scoop, and wowee, I mean, look at that. Look at, I mean, what on earth is this? This is just years worth of absolute filth, guys, and I mean, all right, it's just a, uh, it's just an absolute bloody privilege to have such a job, you know? Be a lot of people on their spinny chairs in their offices just not knowing what they're bloody missing out on, mate. You could be in amongst this. You know, this is what dreams are made of. And I don't care who you are. You just got to be honest with yourself sometimes, guys, and say, wow, what a bloody job it would be. And I don't mean to brag. I'm certainly not trying to come across that way. But all I'm going to say is there's a certain few of us that have the privilege to be doing this kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, I said I wasn't gonna ramble. I'm rambling. I'm just gonna continue on making this look absolutely spotless. All right, you know we've got ourselves a bit of a situation when the shovel comes out, guys. I mean, look, the big guns are out. We're really gonna get stuck into it. We're gonna bloody put our backs into this one, guys, because 
She is absolutely full to the brim. All right, let's get a bit of water down here now, guys. And yes, yes, you at the back. Oh, what are you doing putting it down the drain? This is what you call controlled waste. It's going into the grease trap and then it will be pumped away. I can simply not put this sort of rubbish and grease and crap into a bin. It's just not allowed. So it's going to go straight through into the grease trap and we're going to have the grease trap pumped out. It's all under control, guys. Anyway, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, so I'm just going to shut my mouth while I'm hosing this down. blocked isn't she well well you know what we got to do guys we've got to clear the drain now yes it's the half plunger if you guys are regular viewers of the channel the half plunger has not made it to retirement it's it's staying in the van it comes in handy sometimes guys it's a bloody brilliant tool now there's a little pea trap at the base of these, so that's probably where she's blocked, but we'll clear that up pretty quickly. So, whoa, and just as we speak, I'm all over it like a rash on your grandma, mate. So, happy days, let's continue on. Bit of water coming in here off the car park. It's a bloody disgrace. There's bloody rubbish everywhere. I mean, I've said it in videos before. You know, what goes through your mind when you're throwing rubbish out your car window, mate, you know? You just got to look in the mirror and just say, what am I doing with myself? You know, I'm a mess. Anyway, I'll bloody pick it up. It's not a drama on my behalf, but look, you know, this is... There's the drain. Look, you pull this rubbish out, the bloody rubbish is trying to go down the drain, mate. Here we are. We pull it. Look, it's not that hard. Anyway, I won't whinge. I, I promise you, I won't whinge. Let's just enjoy this nice, bloody, free-flowing drain for a second, guys. And there we are. Look, it just runs under the concrete here. Oh, yeah, surprise, surprise. One of them's blocked, and I wonder what with. Oh, I'm bloody glad the old kookaburra's having a giggle about it. Well, fair play to them. I mean, they're probably looking at me going, look at this clown. Unblocking drains for free, and he's absolutely getting drenched. Anyway, there's no point in me whinging to you now, because I'm already soaked. So let's properly clean this drain out. I'll get me plunger out and see how we go. Now, this plunger has seen better days. And yes, yes, I need to get a new one, but this should do the job for now. So get down here. Try and... Oh, there's a heap of crap in there, you know? It's bloody... Probably years worth of rubbish, mate. So let's give her a good old plunge and see what we can do. And while I'm clearing this one out, guys, I reckon we need a national day, you know. Or make that a worldwide day of calling out a litter bug, you know. What should we call it, you know? The worldwide day for dickheads, you know. Pull your bloody heads in, mate. As you can tell, I'm pretty passionate about people bloody throwing their rubbish on the floor. I freaking hate it mate but anyway let's, let's continue on this drain is almost there i can just feel it guys i can sense it 
Well, the one on the left hand side's brilliant, but on the right here, it looks like it's been shockers for years. And here we go. This is just going to be so explosive. It's just going to be one of those feel good moments. Hang on a second. Oh, look, here we go. There's more for the bin. Just a little bit more, and I reckon we are through it. Oh, there we are. It was a plastic bottle. Probably a collector's item it's been in there so long. Still getting through it though. Persistence pays off, guys. Oh, Freddo Frog Wrapper. Also a potential collector's Freddo. I reckon there's some sort of can or something in there, guys. I, I'm half tempted to get the jetter out, you know. I'm, I'm not going to leave until this is flowing freely. But look at this. This is what we're up against, guys. It's just years worth of rubbish. You know, it looks like this has been blocked for years. If I'm not going to do it, no one's going to do it. So, yeah, look, let's get back to the van and we'll, bloody, uh, we'll think of plan B. I might get a bit of pipe and... I don't know, should we just try and plunge this in first? See if we can get it, it's just in the middle of this pipe. I don't think this plunge is reaching now. But one thing's for sure, I will not give up. Just had to dry the camera off. I tell you, I know I've said it before, I am absolutely soaked from head to toe. The camera's, uh, the camera's seen better days as well, but it's all good, guys. It's for a good cause. I mean, this is. I mean, where would you rather be? Look at this. I mean, this is what dreams are made of, guys. You know, sometimes I pinch myself. But enough bragging about my job and more plunging. Let's do it. We are getting through it bit by bit, but I think the time has come. Plan B. I'm going to get a long bit of pipe out the van, guys, and I'll try and smash it out. I was just thinking I could be in a warm, dry office right now on a spinny chair. No thank you, mate. I'd rather be here. Let's continue on. This old bit of poly pipe that I had in the van probably going to get us to where we need to go. Right, come on, you good thing. Come on, play the game. Definitely a bottle or a can or something. And here it comes. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe she needs a little bit more. Oh, so bloody close, guys. I'm not convinced. I feel like there's something still in there, but I mean, already it's an improvement. Go for a wander around the other side here and see if we can push her through now. No, I just can't, can't quite get it from here now. It's, it's closer to the other side than it is this side, guys. We'll just take a moment to enjoy that. Bloody wonderful sight, guys. Wonderful sight. As I said, I'm not a quitter, and there's just no way that I'm going to... If this takes me all day, all night to clear it, oh, bloody, I'm, I'm here for the long run, guys. The only way that I'm going to stop is if the owner comes out of this place and says, what are you doing? Get off my property. But I'm here for the long haul. I feel like it's a can or a... It feels like a can or a bottle or something. There we go! And unfortunately, today's video isn't sponsored by Pepsi, but, you know, if there are any Pepsi executives watching this video, g'day, and uh, just remember, I'm a big Pepsi fan. Just don't like your drinks blocking me drains, mate. 
which is pretty clear now. And yes, yes, you at the back, I will be throwing that rubbish in the bin, you silly sausage. Of course I will. Just take a moment to appreciate a free-flowing drain. I mean, that's bloody hard work. It's, it's what you call a reward after hard work, guys. Well done. Pat yourselves on the back. You've done bloody well once again. It's a team effort. It's always a team effort. Now, guys, if you do like this content, if you wouldn't mind giving that like button a smash like you never smashed it before, that'd be great. Two seconds. There we are, the camera's dripping wet. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, or if you were thinking about subscribing, I'd love to have you on board. It'd be bloody great. Or just simply say g'day in the comments, guys. Always great to hear from you. Anyway, let's remove this rubbish. I mean, really, it's not that bloody hard, is it, you know? And yes, yes, you at the back, I can hear you. Oh, Bruce, you're only doing this for a pat in the back. I tell you, mate, I, I bloody don't give a shit about the pat in the back, you know? I'm doing this to maybe possibly raise a little bit of awareness about how much of a dickhead you are throwing rubbish out your car window, mate, you know? I've got a little platform, and if I can stop one person from throwing rubbish out their window, then I guess I've succeeded. But thanks for watching, guys.